Welcome everyone. This is Jesse Fisher again. I'm the Social Media and Event Coordinator for Operation Self-Reliance at Riverbed Ranch, Utah, the world's first and only resident-owned off-grid organic farming community. The cleavers are using this innovative watering tool to water their cover crop. And Mike Fazzani on the right there invited Bob Quinn, a PhD in biochemistry, who's also an author, to come uh, to Riverbed Ranch and do an assessment on his property. And also, Bob gave a presentation at our second annual Harvest Festival in October. Here's the book that Bob Quinn wrote, Grain by Grain, A Quest to Revive Ancient Wheat, Rural Jobs, and Healthy Food. Quote, my goal is to continue to promote the idea of food as medicine and help people reconnect the idea of combining healthy soil with health-promoting seeds to produce health-promoting food to nourish and return health to our people. Let's be chemically free by 43 in our food production. Poison should not be a part of agriculture. Boy, do I agree with that. Speaking of the Harvest Festival, we'll be doing another video showing all the fun that the kids and adults had socializing and sharing their skills and talents. So during October, the Garcias started this giant covered greenhouse. As you can see, they've dug down a few feet, and their plan is to complete this and move their RV into it for the winter. have to spend less on fuel. This home is coming along quite well, and you can see the foundation on the left there for a pump house that he's building, I believe, out of compressed earth block. So this is another one of those simply built homes that has nine inches of polystyrene styrofoam in the walls. Speaking of construction, the Olympic athlete who's part of Riverbed Ranch and her beloved are building this earth bag barn, I suppose. Anyway, you can see they're making a great amount of progress, and I believe the covering on here is uh, mud and straw. The Pekias had another group work project where a bunch of people showed up to help them make some progress on their earth bag barn. And the Vazani's got the ends of their straw bale home closed off, so they're thrilled to have that progress made. Speaking of progress, the main road up the center of Riverbed Ranch is continuing in its process of being graded and covered with gravel. And parts that are finished are actually quite nice. And of course they get their gravel from the gravel pit run by the cleavers. And as you may remember in last month's update, I showed a little project I'm working on, which is my underground pump house in an effort to keep my pressure pump and my water pump from freezing during the winter. I used four by eight foot pallets to build this structure. And here's an aerial view. You can see the large blue pressure tank that receives water from the pressure pump in the upper left hand corner, which gets its water from my large 2400 gallon water tanks just outside this wall. And it was fun to start finishing off that underground pump house with a, another 4x8 foot pallet as the ceiling and I framed in a door. First time I've ever framed in a door. I usually buy pre-hung doors. They're so much easier. <laughs> At the Peniel, I don't know how to pronounce it, Peniel, the Miller's Activity Hall, I guess, uh, they started having movie nights and offered its use to the Latter-day Saints in our group to watch their semi-annual general conference. The Millers also expanded their laundromat. Uh, one of the families went south. Uh, I believe it's about 17 miles south of us is a set of three natural hot tubs, which you and everyone else can enjoy. Now I'll leave you with this beautiful morning view of Desert Mountain there in the background from my lot in the southeast corner of Riverbed Ranch. Thanks for watching our update video, and I invite you to join one of our Saturday tours. Just go to riverbed-ranch.com to find out more about this amazing project. 
Thanks. <laughs>